Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candace and welcome to my channel, Balcony Bounty. I make videos about um, growing flowers and vegetables on my balcony garden in an urban setting. I'm in zone seven and right now we are having an unseasonably cool weather for August. Like normally it could be 95, 100 degrees towards the end of August, but today it's only 75. It's beautiful. Look at the sky, got those nice puffy clouds, but um, the purpose of this video, I just need a little help. I have a dilemma with this thing over my shoulder and I don't know what to do with it. So I just wanted to see maybe my YouTube garden friends have some advice on what to do with this tomato plant. I'm going to turn around and explain the problem. So this right here is my german pink tomato it's in this um pot it has like a trellis that i can add different tiers i didn't add the last one because it's very narrow and the plant is obviously not narrow <laughs> but the issue is it is leaning i'll show you here i had to support it <laughs> with some string tied to the balcony i had to support it and it's fallen over at least three or four times. Pause just a second for my beautiful petunias. Dollar store seeds doing so well. But anyway, um, I don't know what to do with this plant. Um, it has it produced like one tomato, which I showed in my last update video. That tomato disappeared and it has not produced any more. As you can see, like, I think it was the heat earlier, like it, we were having extreme heat. So this 75 degree day is crazy. But um, as you can see, like the blossoms are just falling off, like it's not going, there's tons of blossoms, but you can see once they dry up, they just fall off instead of producing tomatoes i've had a problem i noticed i haven't had a lot of pollinators i had um an issue with some wasps here so i was thinking maybe the wasps were keeping away my pollinators so i got rid of the wasps just a few days ago i've seen a few butterflies over here on my zinnia but haven't really seen anything on um these tomato plants i've tried to do some hand pollinating as well still no tomatoes you can see now it's kind of like hanging over the edge of the balcony so and when it's fallen over it's actually bit like right around probably right around here like this area they just bend doesn't break but it bends so i propped it back up put the trellis back together you can see more of my rigging here but it's just, it's still growing. It's getting bigger. It's hanging off the balcony now, not producing any tomatoes. So I'm thinking of a couple options. One is just to chop it down and maybe plant some carrots or um, maybe try to do some peas um, in the pot. Second option is to cut this like it has like three kind of main branches cut this is sort of the center one so I was going to cut the two on the sides and keep that one see if maybe that does something or third option was to just trim sort of the tops of all of this so probably about like here here so it'll stop growing and maybe focus on what's left but actually now that i'm looking there's not much left <laughs> below that point or i guess the fourth option would be just to leave it alone and let it continue and see what happens my fear if i do that is that it's just going to keep growing it's going to hang over the balcony maybe upset the condo association <laughs> but still not produce any tomatoes. So, so 
what I'm asking is, what do you guys think I should do with it? Just let it go? By, I mean, letting it continue to grow? Or mm, chopping it down completely? Just planting something else there? Or trimming the two side branches and then seeing if the main stem will grow? Or trimming sort of the top to prevent it from growing any taller? And seeing what's left if that will grow so if you guys have any advice i've tried also fertilizing as well maybe i should have fertilized it more i don't know but um again not producing any tomatoes but growing tall and just falling over and becoming a bit of a burden <laughs> so just want you guys give me some advice um I do, just on a side note, I do have two other tomato plants and they are producing tomatoes. So I don't know if it's this variety because it is an indeterminate, but one of the other varieties I have is an indeterminate also and it's producing. So don't know, maybe it's just the German pink variety itself. This is just my second year growing it. Last year, it didn't produce a ton, but I did get a few tomatoes off of it. Again, this year, I've nothing. So, again, guys, let me know what you think. Should I cut my losses, get rid of it, stay the course, let it keep growing, trim the two side branches, keep the main stem, or just give it a haircut, trim the top, and let that keep going. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's advice and I will keep you posted on what I decide and then what happens. Thank you. And just so you can see, this is one of my other tomatoes, which clearly has tomatoes. And then here's the other one. This one's indeterminate and this one, I'm sorry, this one is determinate homestead. Still getting pretty tall. There's a sunflower. And then this one is indeterminate. They're actually about the same height. This is a Berkeley tie dye. So the growing conditions are capable of growing tomatoes. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Thank you in advance for any advice, and as always, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and come back for more videos. Bye!